I will be using Microsoft Excel 2010 for this demonstration of mean, median, and standard deviation. A good source of statistical data is the U.S. Census Bureau. Navigating the Census Bureau website can be challenging. An acceptable alternative is to do a Google search. Let's search for Pennsylvania exports in Google. Sure enough, the first result is www.census.gov. We see Pennsylvania exports listed in millions of dollars. Now right-click the mouse and select the data from the chart. Right-click again and copy the data. Larger data sets have downloading instructions. For smaller data sets, this method works well. After copying, open an Excel spreadsheet and click on the top left square and paste. A spreadsheet is a document that stores data in a grid of horizontal rows and vertical columns. Rows are typically labeled using numbers 1, 2, 3, etc. Columns are labeled with letters A, B, C, etc. Individual row column locations such as G4 are referred to as cells. Each cell stores a unique instance of data. 1724 signifies Pennsylvania's bituminous coal exports in millions of dollars. In cell A4, we see that coal ranked number one in Pennsylvania exports. Spreadsheets are more streamlined than databases and are especially useful for processing numbers. This is why spreadsheets are commonly used for financial, scientific, and statistical applications. Our first question is, what is the average amount in dollars of the top Pennsylvania exports? Click on the formula tab. Move your cursor to the cell where you want to insert a function or formula, where you want your answer to display. In this case, G29. Click the insert function in the upper left. You will be presented with a box where you can enter a search for a function. In this case, type the word average and click OK. There are several recommendations in a drop-down. Simply select average by clicking on it. When we look at the data, we notice that rows 2 and 3 contain totals. So as we do our calculations, we will exclude these rows. This means that we will be averaging cells G4 through G28 to determine the average exports in millions of the top 25. A function always begins with an equal sign, followed by the function name in uppercase letters, parentheses, and then cells to be tabulated, in this case, G4 through G28. In Excel, shorthand for the word through is the colon, or two dots. Now we have the answer for the average or the mean. Now let's move on to the median. Click on the Formulas tab, then click on cell G30 the cell where we want to enter the function or the formula. Then type the word median in the search box. Select median from the results list by clicking on it. Excel thinks that you want to total the entire column, but remember we want to exclude the two top rows because they have totals, and we want to ex exclude cell G29 because that's where our average result is stored. So we will edit the formula to read equals median parentheses G4 colon G28 end of parentheses. The standard deviation tells us what is the tendency for the data to vary from the mean in millions of dollars? 
Following the same procedure, we will click on the formula tab, move our, our cursor to the cell where we want to enter the data, in this case G31, and type in standard deviation, and from the results, select STD DEV by clicking on it, and now we want to edit so it says equals stand div parenthesis g4 colon g28 end of parenthesis very quickly we've found the mean the median and the standard deviation for this data set as you explore for the formulas tab in excel you can see that the formulas are divided into groups, financial formulas, math and trigonometry functions, and the functions that we use today are statistical functions, and they're hidden in the other tab. Remember, when trying a new Excel function, use a data set for which you know the solution. This ensures that you understand how Excel is calculating before you use it for an assignment.